What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Christmas edition of the NBA Slate Starter Podcast. I'm Eric, joined with my buddy Ryan as we break down Saturday's five-game NBA DFS slate on DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo. Uh, again, Christmas DFS is the best kind of DFS. We're going to have five NBA games. We're going to have two NFL games. Ryan, are you excited to be sitting by your computer instead of spending time with your family this Saturday? <laughs> No, I'll be I'll be pumped uh, to wait on some health and safety protocol news throughout the day. Uh, potentially win a million dollars is kind of cool. I think you can definitely do that. Our sponsor is giving away a million dollars, which is even cooler uh, that you should be doing. But it'll be a fun Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Day last year was annoying. I, it didn't go as well. I think uh, it's time to bounce back and hopefully uh, collect a couple commas potentially. Two years ago, I will never forget. Cantor had me drawing dead to max out. So I had like accumulated tickets. I was so excited for, for Christmas and all of a sudden like a four or 5% Enos Canner, uh, well, Enos freedom now, excuse me, when he was playing for the Knicks had everybody drawing dead after the first game, you put up like a 50 or 60 burger or something ridiculous. That's one of the most vivid Christmas DFS memories I have. Another one is when I lost $500,000 on a special teams play on uh on christmas sunday i was splitting it was a two-way split for a million dollars on a on a christmas on a christmas nfl slate like a two gamer and pittsburgh ended up getting a touchdown in the end zone like recovered it and i went from winning 500k to winning 200 dollars oh. because the defense passed another defense so that one's a less enjoyable memory too so i have two very bad christmas dfs memories but you know what on yahoo everybody wins because $1 million NBA Christmas. This tournament right here, the one that's behind me here, I, I got to figure out how to do this. There we go. It is the greatest tournament in NBA DFS history. All you do is you put $1 in. You're guaranteed to make a dollar at least. Negative 900% management fee with 100 k to first. I know they ran something like this for NFL, but for NBA DFS, Ryan, does it get any better than 100 k to first, $1 million for $1? No, no, no. It's a single entry contest. Um, put put your dollar and try to win a hundred grand. They're giving away a million dollars. Uh shoot your shot. Uh, that's that's what uh Yahoo makes you do, and you should definitely that's the first contest you should enter. As soon as you hear it, go enter that contest, go sign up, use our deposit bonus, use all that fun stuff, and then enter this contest. Yep. I and just wanted to get I wanted to say that right from the get-go because again, they're win. our sponsor. What yep. was that? And then and then win. And then win. And yeah. easy as that. Ta-da. But here's the thing. You're guaranteed to win. That's the beautiful part about this contest is like whether you get dead last or first, you're getting a dollar extra. Like you're guaranteed to make money. It doesn't get better than that. It really, really does not. But uh, this slate, it doesn't get any better if you decided to play Kemba Walker. I would agree with that. Tonight is just nuts because, again, this is Thursday. Uh, we're looking uh, ahead to Saturday slate. We're covering this. You'll be able to watch this all day Friday. By Saturday morning, hopefully the health and safety protocols, we could have a pretty good idea of where we're at with that. It's madness, but Kemba Walker went nuts. Uh, we had Trey Lyles night, which is a madness thing. Uh, Ryan, how are your lineups looking here for the last full day of NBA DFS until Sunday? Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of potential things that can open up. Jokic hasn't got there yet. Uh, there might be overtime in that matchup where Jokic might uh, collect a few more extra fantasy points. Willie Hernan Gomez, they had a little too much of him. I mean, the field had him at 65%. I wasn't that high. I came in a little bit under. I had a lot of Detroit, which might help out towards the end. But, man, the chalk smashed. The chalk yep. definitely smashed. And uh, luckily, I was well above the field on Kemba Walker tonight. Hopefully, that works out. But it's going to come down to what LeBron James can do. If he can uh, mm -hmm. put on a show, the team's down already against the Spurs. It's going to be a lot of pinpoint stuff. Curry was disappointing. I liked uh, sprinkling him some stuff, but look, it was it was the, it was the Kemba Walker show yet again. I harped on it hard last night. If you counted the number of times I said Kemba Walker, uh, you would have understood how good of a play he was across the board, especially on our sponsor site Yahoo. And then then I think the Detroit guys really opened things up. I uh, there's many lineups I had four Detroit guys. Three seemed like the magic way to go with Diallo, Bay, Frank Jackson, and Corey Joseph. So. Those four really panned out for you guys if you went there. But exciting slate. Nasrik is uh, continuing to play well at his 40% ownership. So we shall see how this uh, ends up. I do expect uh, a frenzy uh, towards the end of the night. You know who's playing even better? 
Jaden McDaniels, my boy from the slate starter yesterday. He was like two or three percent. Again, if you played anything that wasn't Detroit, and I had a ton of Detroit, so don't get me wrong. Uh, you were looking at getting a little bit different. Karis Levert, another massive part of this slate. 11 gamer with a lot of really chalk spots, but I still got to my boy Jaden McDaniels. He's got 16, 7, and 5. Nas Reed, 19, 12, or, or sorry, that's a uh, Russell, 19, 12, and 7. Uh, we've got, oh, shoot, I think he might have just fouled out. Did Nas Reed just foul out? They just brought Nathan Knight in. I'm assuming that's probably a bad thing here for Nas Reed. He's got five fouls, so he's got 15, 10, and one. So, I mean, he's still paid off his tag in spades, but sounds like everybody else did besides Willie Hearn and Gomez. That's the one piece of chalk. It seems like there's one piece of massive chalk that you just have to find a way to get a bit, a little, little bit lower on. And I think with the center position, the way it's set up today, he was probably it. Would you agree? Uh, Out of tough, every piece of chalk. Tough to say that now, right? Easy to say that yeah. now. Tough to say that going into the Elon Wright and Cam Reddish got hurt, which is kind of a bummer situation. Yeah, I think uh, getting five percent on Nick Kongu was very uh, exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't, I don't think many people pivoted there, but as uh, clearly he was only five percent, he worked out as a great play. I, uh, I wish I pivoted more onto him uh, as the night went on. The interesting situation with, when Aaron Gordon got ruled out, uh, that was a interesting late swap opportunity to get in some guys in, on Denver. I thought like maybe Will Barton and Jamichael Green, but they chose to start Blocko Conchar. And contrast started playing well for them, but with all the the early guys just being amazing, like it was tough. Like you're not going to win if you don't have Kemba tonight, and uh, it's just this name of the game. If Kemba plus Detroit and uh, who else? Those last three spots will be interesting. Interesting to see what they end up winning. Well, we have Kemba. That is a good thing for everybody involved. Hopefully you did too. That was Ryan's guy yesterday for sure. Uh, Got to a ton of him, $14 on our sponsor, Yahoo, just to smash. So uh, what you should do is smash that like button as we get into the NBA Christmas slate. Five Gamer, if you haven't been a part of this before, welcome. It's the best slate of the entire year. You have a progressive. You have like a progressive start time for everything. You start at noon, okay? Noon Eastern time. And games go until 1030 and it's staggered. So you constantly are going to be adjusting your lineups to one, how you're doing two, any news that pops up and three, just sitting by your computer to avoid your family. Because again, that's something that you can totally do. Um, I'm not going to do that. I love my family and my newly married into family. But for a lot of people out there, you know what? Not the worst thing. Blow off some steam, go hit some late swap and uh, call it a day plus. Tons of showdown opportunity. Uh, we won't be touching on any of that. We're just going to cover the main slate for the three uh, three sites like we always do. You're ready to get going, my guy. Let's ride. I wanted to say my dude so bad, and I couldn't do it. Merry Christmas. Steph Curry, he's at the top end here. He was 11-9 today. He's down to 11-2 for this Christmas slate over on DraftKings. LeBron James, 10-8. You know, I will say the one thing about Christmas is it seems like the studs, they show out. They, they play... Full allotment of minutes. They're taking their Christmas and they are devoting it, knowing that they're in prime time and they get their full allotment in a way that maybe, you know, like a minute or two bump can make a huge difference. So something to just point out right from the get go. But Steph Curry, 11 2, James Harden, 10 8, or sorry, uh, LeBron James, 10 8. James Harden, though, 10 7. Something tells me, considering he's back and cleared from the health protocols, he's going to be the chalk of all chalk at this position. 10 7 for him. That game doesn't happen until much later in the day. I feel like you're going to be in agreement. Is he going to be your highest owned stud more than likely come Saturday? He's going to be up there. Uh, there's no denying that. He comes in uh, the cheaper, the uh, not the cheapest. Um, I consider the super studs to be on the slate, LeBron, Curry, and Harden, and then the next year of Tatum, and then uh, Julius Randle, who's priced above 10K uh, the way he's been playing. He hasn't earned that, but... Yeah, James Harden's going to be um, good to go, and I think he's, the ownership's going to be there as well. And it's going to be his show. I mean, there's no one else really there. So they got some guys back uh, for Brooklyn. Javon Carter returned. But they're still missing uh, everyone else, like Cam Thomas entered the health and safety protocols. Kevin Durant uh, should still be in health and safety protocols. Keep an eye. It's a very um, – people are going to test in and out of health and safety pro- protocols between now and tip-off. It's just how uh, Christmas Day slate is going to go. So be aware of that situation. Uh, but yeah, he's an excellent play. I mean, 10-7, uh, obviously the upside of being the highest scoring player on the slate makes a lot of sense. 
just going down uh, the list here, I mean, top end of point guard, Steph Curry, obviously. Uh, look, I uh, I think people who play DFS have now like just have stopped watching, looking at box scores. Uh, they've gone to a much more data informed uh, approach, as we clearly saw by a lot of ownership today. And uh, as a competitive player, uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, that's how you kind of take advantage of recency bias and whatnot. Uh, there is the recency bias factor has been completely um, uh, nilled out. I feel like it's not as uh, big as it has been in years past. And you got to find a new craft without a new edge. And that's how you have to uh, readapt. And the game's changing and you got to uh, change along with the game. So which uh, as a competitive player, I've noticed that and you just can't fall behind. And I think people are going to look at Steph Curry's boxer and be like, I still want to take my chances. It's a tough matchup against Phoenix. He does struggle against Mikhail Bridges' defense. So keep that in mind. Uh, going down the list, I think I really like going to Drew Holiday. If there's no Giannis, $9,300 uh, can definitely pan out. Other guys uh, who have a uh, tournament winning upside, Kevin Walker, 6,100. He will be the highest owned player on the slate uh, coming off a 44 point game. Now in a matchup versus Atlanta, how much Kemba Walker's uh, is that? Too, uh, what number? percent own will Kemba Walker be on this Christmas Day slate it might start with a nine I don't know it won't start with a nine but it's going to be north of 50 percent and what we do with that it's going to be very important uh to figure out uh how to win tournaments he's one of my favorite plays of the day today I'm probably going to be very low on him come Saturday um it's the first game of the entire slate again I don't know how the protocols thing are going to work Tomorrow up until Saturday, I have no idea. And again, as it stands right now, just knowing what I've seen out of those box scores, what I expect his projection to be, he should project out well. He should be close to a 6X guy. His usage has been incredible, but he's been shooting the absolute lights out of it. Do I expect that to continue? No, I do not. Not necessarily. I think that he's playing very, very well. I love it. I, I'm a absolute Kemba Walker truther. But it breaks my heart to say that I expect him to be very, very popular. And considering it's the very first slate, and I know I, I literally brought up the Enos Canner example right off the bat because it was such a such a devastating thing. This is just going to be a very popular piece that uh, if you can find a way to get off of him and and go elsewhere and find something, I think you have an entire four games to, to figure out how to kind of craft lineups. If he goes for 50, you're dead. But I think you can survive 40 from Kemba, do you? I'll be really tough. Yeah, it's see, it's different. It's it's one of those things where the the pricing's pretty efficient. We're gonna talk about Dallas a lot in the late night hammer because, like, legitimately, Kristaps Porzingis being in or out is like the biggest piece of news that we'll probably have for the entire slate. Because if he's in, it kind of destroys every piece of value you might want. Mark or Marquise Chris is thirty one hundred and playing a bunch of minutes for this team. Like, not to be looking way ahead to the forward position, but like legitimately there are so many pieces of value and, and pieces of news that can drop later that could open up value. If Kemba goes for, you know, 30, you're definitely happy that you don't have him. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. You'll definitely be super pleased if Kemba doesn't cross. Um, like 40 is the number I set it at like 6,100 40 again, six X 36, 36 points. The way people want to think about multipliers most of the time. Sure. Great outing, but I don't know. There's a lot of raw points waiting in the day, too. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting decision point to do. And it, uh, unfortunately, they won't be able to price them up as pricing came out already. Already, if, I mean, if pricing comes out tomorrow, I think he's like 75 or 8K and makes a much more difficult decision point. So Agreed. I mean, spend down options. I mean, uh, there's going to be a potential guys who test in in Atlanta. Uh, D'Lon Wright got hurt. Uh, which was unfortunate. I think uh, I had a decent amount Cam of Reddish. Yes, uh, Cam Reddish will be fine. I think he was just oh, yes, camping. Okay. I think uh, if he gets the IVs in him, I think uh, uh, the 36-hour recovery should be good enough for Cam Reddish, but you never know. $5,400, he's priced appropriately for this role right now. Uh, looking at other guys in the situation uh, that you can take your chances on, uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, it's going to be tough to avoid that Kemba Walker price tag. I mean, the guy who's priced it a hundred dollars more than him is Mike Conley. And like, it's a, it's a five game Christmas slate. Jeez. How many times does Mike Conley outscore Kemba Walker in this role? I, it can happen. And th those are the decision points 
those one v ones that will be the difference of winning like a million bucks and not winning a million bucks. But <laughs> uh, here we are. Uh, honestly, yeah, there's gonna be some moving news and moving parts, but guys will be low owned that have super winning uh, ceiling upsides. Guys like Devin Booker. I think you'll be very low owned at $8,700 and a matchup versus golden state. I think you can take your chances there for sure, but it's an interesting slate because uh, you get two days to sit on this pricing. Uh, you don't always get that in NBA DFS. Yeah. And there's going to be some concrete decisions that people maybe make tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't be one of those people. Like for me, I'm going to like players very much relative to the way people like players on Saturday. Um, you know, I, I Frank Nielakina, I think 3,400 will be one of the most popular plays of the slate as well, uh, just purely because of the value he creates, regardless of what happens, so long as you still have Luca out. There's no doubt um, that he's going to have to play just a boatload of minutes for this Dallas team. There's a lot of guys who could test him, but Trey Burke is definitely not going to be one of them. Tim Hardaway Jr. is definitely not going to be one of them. Um, so the guard position is going to remain thin. Uh, looking at them again, Part of it is just waiting to see what happens with Porzingis, seeing what that value can become. Because, you know, if you don't have him, you're not going to have Kleba, you're not going to have uh, Green. It just becomes $3,100 Marquise Chris and Sterling Brown, who is guard eligible, 3900 playing a ton of minutes for this Dallas team as well. Those guys are going to make some sense. Let's move along to FanDuel here again, because we'll be talking about a lot of the same guys in situations, just different pricing. We've got Steph Curry, 10K up there on the top end. Drew Holiday, 9,500 there. Uh, Russell Westbrook, 9,800, just above him there. Donovan Mitchell, 8,400. That's really kind of where it gets really fascinating to me. That is a low, low number. I talked about how much Dallas interest. Again, they're going to be double-digit dogs here no matter what, even if Porzingis is into Utah. But that's where a lot of the value exists. And if I'm going to have a lot of Dallas, 8,400 uh, on that back end seems like a nice spot to be loading up my lineups. But James Harden at 10-2. He's like legitimately just a smash at that number over on FanDuel. Talk to me about the top end of guard. Wow. The Nuggets blew a 20 point lead. Uh, that's kind they of. They lose? They're about to lose. They're down six. Oh, they weeks. are. That is gross. Oh, what a, what a terrible loss. Always great when they kept Jokic on the bench for like the four minute and they just went on a crazy run. And Malone's just so stubborn. He is no, not I, coaching this. this I, don't, is absurd. I, I don't think it was Malone's fault. I just think the Charlotte bench got super hot. Uh, they didn't even play their starters. They, like Lamella Ball didn't even play this fourth quarter, so the bench got super hot. That's even more pathetic for them. Yeah. So, um, just looking Kelly at Oubre annihilation. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and that's that, that is definitely something. Uh, going on to the Fanduel point guard position, uh, it's going to be another. Uh, Interesting decision point with Kemba Walker at sixty six hundred dollars. But look, you want to spend up. James Harden has point guard, shooting guard eligible. Makes a lot of sense. Hopefully, there's enough value to jam him in. Pivots from Russ and Curry make a lot of sense. Uh, in a Brooklyn matchup, it's going to be a fun, exciting game. Unfortunately, it's not the star-studded matchup that I was in anticipating for. I had get this game circled for a long, long time. Unfortunately, we're going to see uh, James Harden and just instead of like the trio of superstars on both teams face off against each other, we're just going to get one on two the whole game. But Donovan Mitchell has the definitely tournament winning upside at $8,400. I like going to that price tag. Chris Middleton is, uh, I think priced fine at $8,100 being a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of projections on him were very low today, which I was really shocked to see. I was quite high on him uh, heading into today's matchup, but, Going down the list, I think uh, Taylor Horton Tucker is an exciting value piece, a low on value piece, hopefully at 5K. He has not been fun uh, to play of late, but I think uh, Horton Tucker has that upside in a Brooklyn matchup. Going down the list here, Alec Burks, yet again, $5,600. He's a great pivot off of Kemba. If you don't like Kemba, I think going to Alec Burks makes a lot of sense uh, in a matchup versus Atlanta. Devin Booker is a very cheap uh, sub 8K as well. At seventy six hundred dollars, I mean, point guard, shooting guard on Fanduel is uh, a lot of great options. A lot of guys who are they've done a good job with pricing here to give us some chances, but it's going to come down to what we do with Kemba potentially at that ownership. And if other guys mm-hmm. clear out, and like if RJ Barrett checks into the, uh, he didn't play because of conditioning. I think he'll play the other day, so Kemba might be forced to play less minutes just organically because of that. And uh, maybe his ownership comes down with it, so it will be interesting to see how that pans out. 
I guess one guy I should have brought up on DK and the guy I'm going to bring up now here, and I expect him to be one of the most popular plays on the entire slate. Skyler Mays, 3,500. Yeah, Skyler Mays. Who else is going to play guard? If You said if nobody else clears protocols, but like nobody's cleared protocols here yet. We just saw uh, Dillon Wright get helped off the floor. We have a possibility of Cam Reddish not playing. You know, again, you said that it was cramping and such, but like he turned his ankle then in the middle of that game too. He had two injuries in it. I just double-checked that while it's ongoing. 3,500 for him. He's the flat min over on FanDuel. On DK, he's going to be 3,400. And he came off of playing like legitimately, what, nine minutes the game before? Uh, He played a lot more than that tonight. We're going to throw that out there. He ended up playing 33 minutes for this team. He's 3,500. 35 plus minutes of a dude. He's going to start more than likely. If nobody else clears protocols, I don't know how you don't have shares of Skylar Mays. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, It... I just a little wonky situation over there. I and yeah, I think t- he's a great. I mean, if he's lower on than Frank Nealon, you know, yeah, I'd definitely go Skylar Mays. I think Skylar Mays playing at LSU, if I'm not mistaken, but no uh, idea. Yeah, I think zero he clue. Played at LSU. Yeah, Skylar Mays. I mean, played really well uh, today. Uh, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's just a lot of moving parts over there. I mean, I think Kevin Horder might be able to clear protocol and check in. It wouldn't shock me if they wanted to play Bogdan at the one. There's a lot of, a lot of uncertainty there, but it, it's cheap, and cheap can go a long ways on a five-game slate. Yeah, 33 minutes, put up a double-double. I don't expect something like that again, but, like, again, you just have to be seeing who ends up being active for that game. Make sure you're up watching NBA Live before lock. I'll be on that puppy. I know with Greg Ehrenberg chatting some NBA bright and early out here on the West Coast. Uh, so uh, wake up, have some coffee, uh, open some presents with your family, and then sprint to the computer because we're going to be covering everything you need to know for that slate. But that Atlanta news is going to be gigantic right away. Um, so get ready for that. Yay. Everybody wants to roster Skylar Mason, Frank Nielakina on Christmas. What are you talking about, Ryan? I mean, you, you, and that can be you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so bad. James Harden, $48. Stephen Curry. Steph Curry. Why do I say Stephen? Because that's his full name. I know, but I'm just saying Steph is like the normal person way of saying it. Drew Holiday, $38. Chris Paul, $36. Russell Westbrook, $34. That continues to just be something that I'm going to try to make a thing on Yahoo until forever because $34 is just low. Donovan Mitchell, also $34. Devin Booker, $31. Jalen Brown, $28. But my boy... And it's going to just matter how it works out. But Jalen Brunson at $26 is just so beautiful on this slate. If you don't have Kristaps Porzingis in, uh, I'll have some shares kind of waiting in the wings. Uh, should be pretty easy to have exposure to those later games. Know what you're going to do there. Of course, uh, we've got a ton of guys here, you know, in that mid, like, you know, Kemba Walker at $14 is going to be the highest owned player on the slate. So enjoy that. Um, I will play him at $14 on Yahoo. I see no way around it. But where else are we going besides Kemba Walker on Yahoo? Over there on Yahoo, I mean, there's an exciting tournament there. They have a 50K guaranteed overlay tournament that you should definitely uh, be playing to, uh, on Christmas Day. No questions asked. But for me, I mean, uh, it's going to be – I would like to pay up for James Harden or LeBron, uh, James Harden over there at $48. I think taking my chances there – Definitely about that. Uh, other guys at the guard position, I mean, you've rattled off Neil Keenan and Skyler Mays. Are they in play on Yahoo? Uh, yeah, I think uh, if you want to spend down a little bit, it makes a lot of sense. Russell Westbrook, $34 is, I think, a little too cheap for his upside in a Brooklyn matchup. I like going to Russ at 34 over here. Other guys, um, Marcus Smart at 21 is a sneaky play. He uh, can get there with steals and rattle off a bunch of threes at $21. He's like one of those sub 5% on plays. But look, the opportunity cost is Kemba Walker over there. Uh, it's just tough to move off of that price tag if he's going to continue to play the way he has over the past week. Um, other guys, uh, we saw Gary Payton start today. Uh, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's a $10 play if you're seeking a $10 play. Definitely works out. No Porzingis. Jalen Brunson in a matchup versus Utah. Tough Utah matchup. But Brunson has the ability to put up uh, 40 fantasy points at that price tag. All righty. Well, we all know what portion of the program it is. Click. 
boom, new Yahoo users. So uh, we have a lot to get to here because uh, as if we didn't front load it enough, they have the $1 million contest. $1 million, 100K to first. All you do is put in a dollar. Well, hey, this is the best way to do it if you haven't had a chance to play on Yahoo before. All not new, all new Yahoo users. If you deposit ten dollars or more onto the site, you deposit ten dollars or more. You play in any of the paid contests. I recommend that one dollar. Uh, by the way, you will get one free month of Awesome Plus Platinum. Everything we offer behind the paywall, not just NBA, not just the Christmas Day goodness, but NFL, NHL, MMA, every sport. If there's a sport for DFS, we have projections for it. We have e- esports. We have everything you could af- ask for over here at Osmo. And now you get to try it out just by depositing over there. Plus, add this to the fray. Xmas 100 is the promo code that gets you $100 first match deposit bonus. So if you go and deposit $100, you will get $100 free using promo code XMAS100. Xmas 100. It doesn't get any easier or any better. That's a two for one special being able to utilize that. So do it. Stop guessing. Start winning. Join us at Osmo, but use promo code Xmas 100. Deposit $10 or more here to Yahoo and you'll get that free month of Osmo plus platinum. Plus, not just the $1 contest that we talked about before, but the, the contest that Ryan just brought up there, the 250K Christmas baller has 50K of overlay, 16,666 entries with tons and tons of overlay. Yahoo is the best place to go put your money this Saturday. It's the best place to go put your money for Sunday NFL. Check it out. I can't tell you enough how good it is. And thank you so much to them for their sponsorship. Merry Christmas, Yahoo. We really like you. Uh, Thank you for putting players first. Ryan, you ready to get over to the forward position? Let's do it. I don't know why I asked you. I'm just going to do it anyway. It's what we're here to do. Kevin Durant has a Q tag next to his name. Um, it's interesting because the, I mean, it's not health and safety protocols anymore, right? Is it, did he clear it and he still has his ankle as an issue? No, he hasn't cleared it yet. He's he hasn't still cleared not. it yet. Okay. Cause I know yeah. he had an ankle issue too, leading into getting COVID and you know, we were quite, he was questionable for a couple of those games. So, uh, the Q tag next to him definitely got to clear health and safety protocols and the ankle has to be good to go. So just be on the lookout for those things. Uh, Giannis Luca are not playing LeBron James 10, eight there, Jason Tatum, 10, four and Julius Randall. I don't know. Tonight was Kemba night. No question about it. Julius Randall has been very disappointing, but he's still been decent enough where it's like, I can't believe that he wouldn't have a spiked assist game here at some point. The problem is sharing a floor with Kemba is a lot different than sharing a floor with, you know, Quentin Grimes or something. So uh, a little bit of a different situation, having Kemba back in the starting unit. How do you feel about Julius Randle and the rest of these spend-ups at forward? Man, uh, forward for me will be tough to spend up for just because there's a guy in Onyeka Kongu at $3,300. Oh, baby. Uh, He uh, played really well today. No minutes limit. That minutes limit was lifted as he played 34 minutes in an Embiid matchup. He kind of held his own against Embiid. And Embiid is as tough of a matchup as it gets. Embiid struggled. Embiid went 6-17. to Nick Kongu was very impressive. Kongu was a, what I think the f- I forget what pick he was. I think he was fifth or sixth overall pick um, in last year's draft, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, he's very I, good. Yeah. So yeah, he is a very talented player. Yeah, in a matchup against the Knicks, expected Kongu to play a lot of minutes. Uh, seems like he's got that trust. Uh, I'm about that spending down to Kongu. Other guys, I mean, there's, I mean, because you're going to be able to spend down over there, it makes a lot of sense to go to uh, a LeBron James at 10 8 against Brooklyn. LeBron James, I think, has played really well. I don't know his Christmas Day stats, but LeBron James has played <laughs> many games on Christmas. Uh, do you know how many games he's played on Christmas? I'll tell you in one minute right now. But a lot. Uh, I would assume I think he's played every year he's been or 19 or something. 19? Yeah, LeBron James has played. Uh, it's been he's played so many games on christmas it's kind of crazy Wasn't there right? one year he had to sit out for injury so he might have missed like one there was the one they played up in golden state he missed i don't know why i remember that i could literally just be making that up right now nobody would know did he sit a game on christmas wow i'm 99 percent sure uh no that's a high number i'm 74.8 percent sure that he sat a game on christmas in Golden State that he had to sit out because he was injured. 
Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he is uh, just shy of... Uh, I think LeBron James like averages like 26 and a lot. He's, he's going to pass... Uh, pretty sure he'll pass Kobe Bryant as Christmas Day scorers this year. Uh, I think he's only 12 points shy of him as I pull up these stats. But LeBron's averaged like 26 points a game. And Jeez. If you're looking for a Christmas Day narrative, LeBron James makes a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, he's a great pivot off of James Harden uh, price tag, but uh, maybe there's ways to jam in both with the value that's opening up. Other guys to spend down on. Uh, it's going to be an exciting uh, position, what to figure out and what to do. Look, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum are both expensive. There's a pathway for one of them to be very good in a matchup with uh, Giannis less Milwaukee Bucks. So it's, uh, I think one of those, it makes a lot of sense. And these guys are going to be kind of under owned. And I think taking your chances on one of those Boston guys makes a lot of sense. In my opinion, spending down a little bit, uh, John Collins was uh, another guy you can go to at $7,800 kind of expensive slash priced appropriately. So it'll be interesting to what comes out. Otto Porter started and I think he's playing pretty well uh, today. As this game continues really well. right now. Yeah, so Porter's going to uh, take a lot of uh, ownership as well. I think he's 8-5. and five And so 4K, I think uh, he's going to definitely have some ownership. He's a, a guy who can pick up blocks and stock, uh, steals yeah. and blocks. Yeah. He's got four stocks today. That's the big thing for him. And on sites like FanDuel and Yahoo, where there were three, a little bit better to be looking at. But um, rest of the forward position, yeah, you brought up a Kongwu. So he started here tonight. That's kind of, you know, that was inevitable. They were going to do that at some point instead of Jang. It's not like Gorgie was going to be some long-term answer for them. Kind of a vet at this point, which is weird to think about because it's just like I can remember him playing college ball at Louisville. And a oh, Louisville, I think is how they say it there, something like that. It's just that don't enunciate the words. But, yeah, he's he's definitely going to be uh, very popular. Kung Wu is so long as he's starting. That's the first game off the bat. Again, it's just. The late swap guy in me wants to wait. He wants to wait, but Atlanta is just like too good a value in the garden here on Christmas. Depending on who's in or out, I mean, it's just a body issue, and you just click on the team and everybody's out. So uh, whoever's in is going to be viable. Done. And Kung Wu is supposed to be viable there. Um, anything else here at the forward position? Going to like the middle middle range here. <sighs> It's just kind of meh. I mean, it's going to be Golden State. Otto Porter Jr. is down to 3900 coming off of a day today where I believe he was a little bit more expensive than that. I know late slate he was like 4800 because he wasn't a talking point until then uh, over on DK. Sterling Brown, 3900 should garner quite a bit of attention as well. Those are the kind of guys. And now Ariza's in health and safety protocols. You brought up Taylor Horton Tucker. Not playing well to start here, but definitely somebody that I think uh, could definitely be a piece you could make a thing. Let's head to FanDuel here. Keep it moving. Evan Fournier, uh, or sorry, I was just grouping by that game. Kevin Durant, 11-7 if he goes. 10-9 though, LeBron, your first guy that's probably going to be in. Jason Tatum, 9,500 there uh, at the position uh, at forward. Julius Randle, 8,700. That's like a permanent tag he's had here for a while. But Chris Middleton, 8,100. We're probably not going to have Giannis here once more. He makes a lot of sense. John Collins has been boosted up to 8,500. And Draymond Green, 7,600. Not as appealing where, you know, um, it's just a little bit more expensive. But it's Christmas Day. Hey, he could do it. Jordan Aware is up to 6,500. Side note. Talk to me about forward. Yeah, it's small forward power forward over there on FanDuel. It's uh, an inch, uh, obviously LeBron James and Jason Tatum lead the way at their price tags. 10, 9, 9, 5. 9, 5 Jason Tatum. I like that going there. Chris Middleton is another guy I think I'll be targeting at $8,100. We touched on him in the shooting guard spot. Uh, Boston comes in priced pretty uh, favorably on uh, FanDuel. $7,800 Jalen Brown makes a lot of sense to go to. Uh, I like going to THC. Hopefully he's going to be low owned and you can take your chances there. But spending down, uh, guys who have power forward eligibility, uh, I think it's not much there. Otto Porter's $4,500. I think he's priced appropriately slash kind of expensive on Fando, but steals and blocks do favor him over here. Julius Randall, 8,700. I like that price tag quite a bit. Uh, Randall obviously hasn't come back around. I think he's not been as aggressive as he was last year, and maybe fatigue is setting in. Uh, Thibodeau, go figure. I like going to Draymond Green at 7,600 uh, just because of the upside he has within him. I know he, it's priced kind of expensive, but taking your chances there makes a lot of sense. Uh, other guys, I think, or who are low owned, I think guys like 
Boyan Bogdanovich will be super low owned, but Bogdanovich has the ability to rattle off a bunch of three pointers. I don't mind it. It's just a tournament only play, uh, long shot tournament only play on FanDuel. So there's some massive tournaments over there on that site. Uh, that's really honestly about it. Uh, barring any news, uh, and no one really else stands out. I mean, Robert Williams is has power forward eligibility. He was outstanding the other night. I think he is going to have some ownership to him. So I don't mind a $5,600 uh, Rob Williams. Marquise Chris only played 13 minutes there for the Mavs. I was looking at him at 4K. Only played 13 minutes today coming off of a game where he played, I think, more than that. But he was 6 for 11 from the field with 6 personal fouls. So, like, legitimately... I mean, the most Marquise Chris game of all time. Like, yeah. to a T, that is Marquise Chris. So I think at 4K, if he doesn't get six fouls there, I'm telling you, I saw a little bit there. I wasn't watching it super closely, but he looked very, very involved on that basketball team. Again, six for 11. He's willing on the uh, on the offensive end to do some stuff here and there. And um, I think he'll be a popular guy, a popular target at 4K, uh, just because of assumed uh, upside in the event that you don't have Kristaps Porzingis there. Uh, Theo Pinson ended up playing 22 minutes, the the most by any reserve there. But uh, Marquis Chris, somebody that can actually make them play some small ball five. Looks like they did that. Uh, Boban didn't appear. And I'm looking at Moses Brown played nine minutes. So I think you might be looking at some backup Marquis Chris, just throwing it out there. That's kind of fascinating to look at. So 4K for him. That's the most time I ever imagined spending on Marquis Chris ever again. Um, and, and ever probably will. So, uh, anything else for you on FanDuel? Uh, no, I think, uh, that really wraps it up news is going to change a lot of that position, but there's not that many great plays on the small forward power forward spot. It seems like a spot where we were trying to spend up a little bit potentially. Yeah. LeBron James, 48, Jason Tatum, 46, Julius Randle, 37. Well, I mean, you were saying at the front end that you didn't want to spend up because of Kung Wu, but a Kung Wu over on uh yahoo i believe is going to be center only yes he is he's 14 dollars. look at yahoo being sharp and figuring stuff out very quickly there 14 dollars there for him so you can't play him at a forward spot that's a bummer but uh john collins 35 bucks draymond green 30 chris middleton 28 starting to get interesting there dorian finney smith up to 20 bucks that's about appropriate but i think you're going to be looking at a lot of people going towards uh jordan awara there at uh at 17 dollars really kind of stands out as somebody you can rely on quite a bit. And depending on Atlanta, you could be looking at Lance Stevenson and Wes Awundu. What could be better if you have like eight or nine active Hawks and rostering one of those two fools, but uh, whatever. Welcome to 2021. Uh, let's hope 2022 is better. Ryan, talk to me about forward on Yahoo. Forward on Yahoo led by LeBron and Jason Tatum and Julius Randall, like Randall's price tag at 37. Love Middleton's $28 price tag. He sticks out to me. Uh, other guys, I think, uh, taking a chance at $16, Taylor Horton Tucker. $20, R.J. Barrett. I think he should be good to go for Christmas Day. Uh, R.J. Barrett, I uh, like going to him. Uh, he's a nice guy. I once met him at a pizza bar. So uh, R.J. Barrett? Yeah. Oh, that's a yeah. fun story. Dukey, go Duke. My new I, dog's going to be named Duke. Fun I was going to be a couple dozen... Uh, couple dozen cocktails in and i went up to him go win rookie of the year so you know go figure Um, you jinxed him he's been good look uh, he's not been bad i mean compared to zion i mean that's that's not really a fair comparison but continue who was not going to take zion first that's the thing no no um, he hasn't been bad i think he's been pretty solid yeah um Going down the list here, Otto Porter is only $12. Makes a lot of sense to go there. Um, other guys, I think uh, you can go to over here. No one's outstanding value. Pat Conton remains to be in the starting lineup. It's not fun uh, when he's sharing the court uh, with guys like Drew Holiday and Middleton, but keep an eye on that situation. But honestly, uh, forward position on Yahoo is not that exciting. It's spot where I'll be looking to spend up. Same here. Unless you like Jonathan Kamingo, let's head to the center position. That was sarcasm, by the way. Oh, uh, Dorian Fay Smith, the last guy, he just plays a ton of minutes. And obviously, you got to hope he gets those seals and blocks for you. But it's Dorian Finney Smith for you. Yeah, he's $20 now in Yahoo, which is, I, I said, just crazy to think about. All right, y'all, let's get to the center position where <laughs> I think there are some plays. Uh, there were today, there are going to be on Saturday, no doubt about it. Let's talk centers. 
So Julius Randle's there 10 2. You could roster him. But Rudy Gobert, your first true center on DK, 9,200. DeAndre Aiden, 8,100 here. John Collins, 7,800. Draymond Green, yada, yada, yada. Who cares? Demarcus Cousins is 4,900. Demarcus Cousins ruined another slate today, went completely. Well, actually, I don't know how it worked out in the sl- in the landscape of the slate because like 40 plus out of somebody who was sub 5K didn't really matter on this one. You kind of needed all the pieces to fit together because the chalk went nuts. But like DeMarcus Cousins, 4,900 and Mitchell Robinson, 4,800 are going to be two very, very, very popular plays. Ryan, talk to me about them. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be very popular plays. Uh, Onyeka Okongu also has center eligibility. He'll be very popular as well. But Boogie Cousins has been yeah, playing a little better, getting some more game reps under him. 28 minutes today. Yeah, and you'll take 28 minutes of Boogie at that price tag, would you not? I mean, look, I, I like going to him. Uh, if you don't want to go to him, it's paying up for Rob Williams in the same matchup at 5,800 is not so bad. Mitchell Robinson, 4,800, uh, played a lot of minutes till he fouled out, I believe, today. I want to see, I'm going to confirm how many minutes he got in today. He got in. I'll tell you exactly. Robinson played till he fouled out. He played 25 minutes, and you need Robinson to really get blocks. He had no blocks, uh, no steals or blocks, and I'll take the over on uh, zero blocks for Mitchell Robinson in the next game. So I like going to Robinson at that price tag. Maybe it'll be, ownership will be low. DeAndre Ayton uh, plays really well against Golden State, and I like going to DeAndre Ayton at $8,100. Uh, the ball fed through him last time. I think 50-point upsides on the table for DeAndre Ayton. Uh, Rudy Gobert continues to be a stud at $9,200 um, in a matchup versus Dallas. There's no one really there. I don't expect Dwight Powell to slow him down anyways. The 2020 game could be on the board for Rudy Gobert uh, against Dallas. The mitten is going nuclear. He's had like 10 points in the last three minutes. So oh, I'm just wow. throwing it out there. Uh, Gary Payton, the second for those who aren't cool and a stout to lingo. The mitten, his dad being the glove. Best nickname in basketball, no doubt about it. No, but- no, 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 no. How dare you disrespect the off night nickname? Oh, off night is pretty money. Off yeah. night's pretty great. Uh, what's uh, what's Kelly Ubre's again? A tsunami poppy. Tsunami poppy is just stupid and absurd, and I kind of <laughs> think it's funny. Yo, he ruined uh, Jokic. He like didn't get Jokic overtime. So if you don't like, uh, I really was like, I would have liked Jokic to get overtime. Could you imagine this version of Kelly Ubre on Golden State right now? It, he just d- was never did never want to play with Steph. He had some comments. He's saying, "I didn't want to. I didn't want to be a screen setter and just like feed the ball to Steph." I mean, yeah, that's everybody else's job right now on Golden State, unless you're Gary Payton the second who's just making everything. Thought I'd throw it out there, but yeah, center. You play any of those guys, you're looking at a, a smash there. Enos Freedom, thank God. I can't. I don't have to worry about Enos Freedom going nuts on another Christmas Day slate. So uh, we are all set there. <laughs> That's the one positive of this whole, that's a terrible word choice. Let's move on to center over on FanDuel. Rudy Gobert, 9,200 on the top end there for him. Julius Randle, 8,700. John Collins, 8,500. 8 and 81, that's too low. That's a nice number to be getting there. Dream on green, you can play at center. That's kind of interesting here. Number of guys that could end up back from health and safety protocols here. Um, you know, Al Horford being somebody that, you know, has a GTD next to his name. I don't know how likely it would be that he would come back, but. My dude, Robert Williams, did Robert Williams things. And I said, Robert Williams, and I kept patting him on the back and said, hey, Robert, let's act like it's 2020 again and just do what you did without Al Horford on the floor. And he showed out last time out. I expect him uh, 5,700 for Mitchell Robinson and 5,600 for Robert Williams, where he can play in power forward or center. Coming off of 54.7 on FanDuel, he looks really, really, really good. Do you agree? I think so too, and it, it makes a lot of sense to go there. I mean, man, dude, it's just Anika Kong is thirty eight hundred dollars. I mean, like, oh shit, well, that's just that like, it's smash. just, it's just so hard to move off that smash. price tag. Look, okay, the opportunity cost is honestly there's not much. <laughs> it's just like you can spend down to Alcongu. can we can we talk about this portion to kind of round it out because I'm I want to get your your feelings on this. It's a five game slate. And there's maybe going to be some blowouts here or there or something. Do you ever look at something like the center position here where uh, the center on on FanDuel here where you can play a lot of these guys at power forward that you might not be able to over on DK? You know, like uh, Cousins is now priced up to 6K, so at least he's a talking point. But like, is there viability to going to guys like 
you know, Dwight Howard at 4,500 or Hassan Whiteside, who in a blowout, if they run Dallas out of the gym and beat him by 25, you get 18 minutes of Hassan Whiteside at 5K. Why not him going for 35 or something? Yeah, I, I do that quite a bit. Uh, I've done that quite a bit. I know already. you've done it a lot in short slate, especially yeah. like two, three gamers. Uh, and uh, I like taking those risks just because uh, those are those game scripts can pan out in your favor and you can definitely go there. So I like uh, taking advantage of those situations. Definitely makes a lot of sense, I think, to uh, do that. Uh, and I, I like taking sprinkling those guys in. You don't need to be super heavy on them. You don't need to even. We just lost Ryan. Hold up. Wait for it. He's going to come back. I have a feeling. But either way, we're going to keep it rolling here until, oh, thank goodness, he's back. <laughs> I was like, uh, I've got a line in the middle of my head. This isn't going well. Uh, no, uh, as you I'll were. just wrap up know. what I was saying. I think it makes a lot, of, a lot of sense. And long, like, look, long shot tournament options, those definitely can pan out in your favor. But mm -hmm. keep in mind, that's only one position. You still need to nail everything else. Yes, you do. And a Kung looks really good. Sub 4K if he's going to be playing 20 plus minutes uh, starting. He can he can put up stocks. I saw it a lot tonight. It was crazy. Um, let's head over to Yahoo and we will talk our sponsor site and we will get ourselves out of here for the Christmas edition of the Slate Starter Podcast. Rudy Gobert, $39. DeAndre Ayton, $28. Robert Williams, $22. That's enticing, as is Mitchell Robinson, $18. So long as he continues to start here. Okungwu, $14, so they moved him over there. But the chalk of all chalk of all chalk of all chalk is going to be DeMarcus Cousins at $13. Absolute smash. Yeah, I saw the eyes go up. What are you thinking about that? That's Boogie. That's Boogie on Christmas Day. I mean, matchup versus Boston, I think Boogie should be just fine to go to. I really like going to DeAndre Ayton at that price tag. I, I like going there for sure. But look, you can spend down to Boogie or Nick Okungwu. You can roster them both. You can mix and match. A lot of things can go in your favor in the center spot in Yahoo. Not missing out on much. Uh, $39 Rudy Gobert is just expensive over there. I don't think it's necessary, and you can save here. Uh, and there's some strong options to save at. So I like uh, saving down and potentially getting two in. Uh, makes a lot of sense for me. I mean, I really have nothing to add. It's, it's the same guys we were talking about finding paths to get some of them there. Dwight Powell at 10, you can maybe take a, you take a shot one, but I think we've done a pretty good job of kind of covering – what needs to be done there? You play boogie, you play a Kong and you collect money. You know, you collect money. Ryan, Christmas Day. We're in the books. That was beautiful. Any final words for the people as we get out of here before Saturday? Two days. They have to wait to open the present. That is the Slate Starter uh, edition covering all of the things that we have here uh, for Saturday Slate. But uh, go ahead and close out. Uh, anything else you want to say? Now, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, safe Christmas. Uh, enjoy the day off of DFS and uh, hopefully you take down something massive because there are some huge tournaments across the board. Christmas Day is a lot of fun uh, and we get an NFL slate to bounce around with. NBA is going to be lo lots and lots of fun, lots and lots of news and more importantly, good luck and uh, we'll catch you after Christmas. He's Ryan. He's wearing the nice sweater. I'm Eric. I'm wearing the ugliest sweater possible but I wore it last year so ho 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 everybody. Merry Christmas. Go join the $1 million baller here at Yahoo. Best of luck to you. Ho, ho, ho.